Hey guys, Emma again, welcome back to the spare room. Busy week at work, it's Friday night, I better start filming, this is a little, little project video for the weekend. It's something we're probably going to need if we're going to make these screwdrivers. And it won't take long to make up and it should be a pretty good little tool. So I guess everyone's seen Clickspring Chris's excellent series of videos on clock making. They really are pretty good. They're a bit smoke and mirrors and there's not a lot of outtakes in any of them. And probably I wonder whether he ever post any because they are pretty polished I think he's probably a school teacher so that's okay and the whole purpose of YouTube is to inspire people it inspires me my YouTube channel to get things finished and hopefully it inspires you to make something you get a pair of tin snips and a soldering iron out and make something but Chris has a, a little bluing tray that he's made which is really very very good and it's sort of the, the deluxe model, I guess. But it does the job. And I've got a... Basically, this is a copper cap, a hot water cap, two-inch hot water pipe cap. A weld-on one. You can pick these up at the hardware store, probably 13, 14, 15 bucks, I guess. I don't know. I had a couple of them that were given to me, a picked up, or a friend picked up at a garage sale. With the view that I'd be able to make a boiler out of them. And probably you could. They're good and solid and strong. And they might make a pretty good boiler. But, you're going to make a blue and tray out of it. It's plenty heavy enough in the wall, I think. And all it needs is a couple of little feet screwed in there. One there and one there. And a handle on it some sort of insulation so let's get in and get some 316 brass and turn it down to 1 8 and drill and tap this in a couple of spots screw the legs in we might get a hand graver out and clean the the legs off on the other end to a nice sort of a shape and we've got a bit of oh about four mil soft steel rod there. We might make a handle out of that I reckon. And see what we end up with. So let's get in and do it. So the camera's shut itself down for some reason. I'm not sure why. But I've just made two of these up. Which are basic 3 16th brass with an 8 thread on them, 3 mil thread. Pard them off to length. We've sort of got a couple of legs that are nearly the same. I think this is probably the shorter one, so we'll chew him up first. And I'm going to be lazy and just get the graver out. Put a bit of a chamfer on there. So we've got two legs that look basically the same. They're pretty much the same length, they've got the same amount of thread on them. That's a pretty quick, straightforward job for anyone with a lathe. Thank you. 
Next job is to paint some blue on there. Find our combination square. Use this tool, I think. Inscribe a line on centre there. And to be honest, we're only going to guess this. We find a pair of dividers. And what my American friends call a scale. Of which I've had one free with every material order for the last six months. Completely and utterly lost. Anyway, we've set these at about half inch. Grabbed a couple of arcs and found the centre punch and a hammer. We'll have a look on the good old thread chart because Imperial threads aren't just like metric ones. We need a 2.5 millimetre drill. So we'll call it a number 38. Just tap those two holes through nice and nice and true. Just a bit of copper so it's pretty soft. Make sure the tap goes through until it finishes cutting. Screw him out, give him a clean up with a file. So the secret to tapping them will be to tap one first and then use screw it in and try and get the other one lined up somewhere near somewhere near square with the other one they're both in and these want a bit of a rivet. Um, best way probably is to just put some soft jaws in the vise and hold them nicely. And give them a tap with a, a, a centre punch in a couple of spots just to stop them coming out when they come loose or when they get hot. Nothing worse than a vibrating out when you're blueing something and you've got to sit it down. So, These being brass are going to take nothing to... Then I... Sort of had to dig around in the... In the old toolbox for a nail set. And that's probably the best way to finish them off. You can make a, a nice little round punch if you like to do that. Or you might have a nice rivet set. But they're in and I don't think they're going to come out. So next job to do here is to drill this and put a handle in it. There's a few options and really whatever you got laying about. A bit of silver steel is probably a bit too good. It doesn't want to transfer a lot of heat so something a bit bigger mightn't hurt either but Ideally, it'd be nice to have something with a wooden handle. I can't really lay my hands on anything that's going to do the job now. So I'm just going to put a bend in this in one end so that it sits up nice and level. And 
and we might put a 1/8 thread on there and screw it in too. So that looks like the plan. You'll notice that I'm going to put an outtake in here and admit that I put one when I mark that out. I put one one hole in the wrong spot. So I've just silver soldered that up, and you can hardly tell from the outside. It's going to be plenty good enough. So I put my output outtakes in anyway. So let's put a thread on this, and we'll set this up in our new vise and drill through here that's nice and steady in there And the next thing is to to put this in a collet and spin the end down to one eighth and thread in. Screw them in nice and tight. We might rivet that one as well, I think, and bend the end of him over. Doesn't need a lot of thread on the end there. So this is what we've got. Wants a bit of a handle on it because there's nothing worse than getting your fingers burnt. And I reckon if we put a right angle bend in about there, and I'm just going to do that in the vise, because this is only a bit of soft stuff, like so, and chop him off so that that's about level. And a good clean up with a bit of wet and dry. So anyway guys, there's a quick Sunday morning tool. Took me about an hour if that to make I guess. Probably not even. Uh, if you can't get any of these tight by riveting, it wouldn't hurt to run a bit of silver solder around it. It's really not a particularly big job to do either. That sits up about level there. It's got two legs in the front. And this is a fairly decent little bluing pan without a lot of effort. It's a tool that you're going to keep for a long time, so it's probably not a bad idea to put a bit of time into getting it right. The last time I used this or a similar thing was probably in Tasmania about 10 years ago, maybe longer. And I haven't got a clue where the one I made was, but this will do the job for this one. And it's not a click spring creation by any means, but it's certainly going to do it. So that's this morning's video. Thanks for watching, guys, and more soon.